on and, and I'm Hello. out. Hello. Hello, church family. Hello, family and friends. Uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you for my family for coming. If you haven't noticed, there's a large Italian presence here. That's my large Italian family. I love my large Italian family. I love all my friends, too, and I love my church family. So thank you for being here. So as we go into this time of baptism, I wanted to share a quick story of how James came to know the Lord. And I love how Doug was talking about these two kingdoms, you know, the, the kingdom of God and the earthly kingdom, the kingdom of the enemy. And how you were talking about the verse on uh, Nicodemus coming to Jesus. I think you were reading my thoughts. So um, when James was four and a half, he received a Bible as a present for our good friends, Phil and Tamara. And over the next year, he made sure that we read that Bible every night. So we were reading through it through, for almost the whole year. He's five by now. And we're reading through the New Testament. And we come to the story of Nicodemus, how he comes to Jesus. And Jesus tells him, Nicodemus, you must be born again in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. So James stops me. And he says, Dad, are you born again? I said, yes, I am. And he asks me, am I born again? I said, well, no, you're not. And then he asks me, well, can I be born again? I, and I sit there and I think, and I'm like, well, tell me why you want to be born again. And he tells me, because Jesus died for my sins. So I'm sitting there thinking and I'm praying because he, he's so young. I became a Christian when I was 30 and he's so young, and I don't want him to become a Christian for me. I want him to become a Christian for the Lord. So I'm sitting there thinking, and I'm praying, and I get this thought, and it's from God. And it, it really was from God. And the thought said, this is Tom, if somebody's asking for my salvation, who are you to deny it from them? And I was like, it was a little bit of a gentle rebuke. And answered prayer. I said, all right, James, let's do this. So James accepted the Lord. The reason why I tell you this story is because it's a great story. But another reason why I tell you this story is because even a child can hear and respond to the gospel message. Right? So if you don't know the Lord, if you've heard the gospel message today, and I think you have, uh, it's an invitation. What will your response be to the gospel message? So speaking of responses, James has a response that he wants to share with everybody. I know he's excited, so I'll hand over the mic to him. Hi, my name is James Stanzik. I want to be baptized because I love Jesus because he created me and, lo and loves me. He is my Lord and Savior, and he tells me to be baptized. My favorite verses in the Bible are John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave him his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Good job, James. Yes, yes. Anyone else? John's in the back. How is the temperature? Warm. Medium. So scrunch up your legs while you're here. Do you want to? Do you, you want to plug your nose? Okay, James. James, because of your confession in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Come here. 